What's up, everybody? It's Eon Cure with Day 10 of the Fallout 4 Countdown Retrospective. We look at that, we are already two thirds of the way through the countdown, only 10 measly days to go. Are you feeling it, Mr. Krabs? For today's Countdown Retrospective, I would like to take you back to May 10th, 2015. On this date, another fake leak would make its way to the internet, this time supposed development photos of the game. But at the time, the fake leak had received a lot of attention, so I made an entire video about it at the time when the news broke. Instead of me summarizing all the information right now, allow me to show you that video so you can get an idea for what my mentality and the mentality of Fallout fans in general was at the time, which was that there is a slight possibility that the leak might be real. Check it out. With E3 2014 fast approaching, leaks of Fallout 4 are beginning to make their way to the internet, but like with any leak that comes through unofficial channels, they should be taken with a grain of salt. In a discussion section of the Fallout Wiki, a number of images were leaked allegedly showing the development of Fallout 4 through the Creation Kit Studio. This first image shows off some data files, one of them being Fallout4.esm. Those who play the PC version of Fallout 3 will know that this is consistent to the ESM file that displays when players take a look at the data files through the launcher. This image also shows that the photos were taken sometime after May 10th. The second image shows off a number of interesting details, one of which is the drop-down on the Projects tab. The drop-down shows a variety of options that indicate for which platforms Fallout 4 is being developed for. According to this image, Fallout 4 will be launched on PC, Xbox One, and PlayStation 4, indicating that Fallout 4 will be a next-gen exclusive. Below the drop-down bar is the Object Explorer window, which lists a number of files hinting at some of the game's content. The most interesting files to note are the top two, which indicates that Harvard Ruins will be one of the game's many locations. Harvard University is located in Massachusetts, so indication that Harvard Ruins will be an accessible location in Fallout 4 is actually consistent with the various rumors suggesting that Fallout 4 will take place in the Commonwealth, which is essentially Fallout's post-apocalyptic Massachusetts. As for the rest of the files in this image, the names are too vague to make anything out of them, but there are a number of consistencies with previously released rumors. The files labeled Museum, for example, are consistent with the fact that a Fallout 4 casting script that Kotaku leaked takes place in an abandoned museum. However, there is always the chance that the museum in the script is different from the one referred to in this photo, since Fallout 4 will likely feature a number of museums. Something else to note about the museum file in the photo is that one of the files seems to indicate that players will meet a character named Sarah inside a museum. Here is a list of all the Sarahs in the Fallout lore according to the Fallout wiki, in case anyone wants to take a swing at which Sarah this could be referring to, but I'd say it's more likely that she's a new character. Now even more intriguing than the museum files is the file labeled Amanda Garvey. The name may not seem familiar at first, but when you cross-reference it with Kotaku's leaked script, you will realize that the name is consistent with the contents of the script. Amanda Garvey shares the same last name as Preston Garvey, the latter who, according to the script, is part of the Commonwealth Minutemen. This consistency means that either Kotaku's script and these leaked photos are both real, or the individual who fabricated these photos used the Garvey name from Kotaku's leak and made up the name Amanda Garvey to make these photos seem all the more legitimate. It's hard to say. Moving on, let's take a look at the third photo, which shows the about window of this version of the Creation Kit Studio. At the very top, we can see that the program is labeled Creation Kit Studio Fallout Edition. As for the rest of the image, it's pretty self-explanatory. Now, it is in this image that many spotted a flaw that may invalidate these allegedly leaked photos. If you look at the bottom left corner of the logo, you will notice that the words here read 2014 Bethesda Softworks LCC, when it should read 2014 Bethesda Softworks LLC, which stands for Limited Liability Company. Some say that this is an unacceptable rookie mistake that a big company like Bethesda would never make, while others say that small typos like these are no big deal since the program is meant for internal use. Furthermore, the individual who leaked these images posted that this typo was on the bug list for the next update of the Creation Kit Studio. I honestly can't tell if the LCC typo is really that big of a deal. If you think you can shed some more light on this matter, be sure to let our nation know in the comments below. 
Something else that people pointed out against the validity of these images is the fact that Xbox One is abbreviated as Xbone, which is a name that Microsoft is not too fond of. Therefore, the argument is that the unprofessional manner in which the Xbox One is abbreviated makes it all the more likely that these images are fake. While I certainly do think that the LCC typo is a valid point, I don't think the way Xbox One is abbreviated makes a good case. Just because people joke about the XB1 abbreviation doesn't necessarily mean that it's blacklisted or inappropriate for use. But that's just my opinion, what do you think? There is one more inconsistency that has been pointed out in the Fallout wiki page, and this one was cited in a video showing off the Creation Kit Studio, which was uploaded by the same individual who leaked the images. If the video is frozen at the right time, it can be seen that the game is being developed inside the C drive. According to a user arguing the leak's validity, the first rule of computers in a corporate environment is that one never works off the C drive. Instead, one is supposed to work on a network disk to make it possible to back up, share, and swap data. I'm not an expert in this field, so I can't vouch for or argue against this matter, but the leaker's reply was that in Bethesda's work environment, Windows is installed on the Z drive, while the C drive shares resources with every other workstation. If you know more about this kind of thing and can share an educated opinion on the validity of this argument, be sure to let our nation know in the comments below. Now, the video does show off a few extra assets and files that further corroborate previous rumors and leaks. One file, for example, is labeled Camp Beacon Hill. For those who don't know, Beacon Hill is an actual neighborhood located in Boston, Massachusetts, making the file name Camp Beacon Hill consistent with the rumors that Fallout 4 takes place in Massachusetts. The video also shows a file called Preston, which likely refers to Preston Garvey, found in Kotaku's leaked script. Then, after scrolling down, a few other names come to sight, such as Cassin Young, Charles, and Alston. It's interesting to note that Cassin Young is a real-life historical figure. He was a captain in the US Navy who received a Medal of Honor for his heroism during the attack on Pearl Harbor. The most likely scenario seems to be that a new character will share the same name as the historical figure, since the man died on November 13th, 1942. The rest of the list doesn't really say much about the game. The files labeled Weather Thunder is likely hinting at some kind of dynamic weather system, and the file named Raiders Camp is likely hinting to the return of Raiders. If you happen to spot anything that I haven't noticed yet that hints at possible Fallout 4 features, be sure to let our nation know in the comments below. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, everything you need to know about the leaked images and video of Fallout 4's supposed development via the Creation Kit Studio. If I were you, I would take all this with a grain of salt. If you recall, website Survivor 2299 showed just how far some people are willing to go to hoax others. So stay on guard. So there you have it, folks, everything you need to know about this fake leak. If I recall, after the news broke, the hype for this died down pretty quickly. After the Survivor 2299 fiasco, I think people became much more conscious and aware about what rumors to believe and what rumors not to believe. Compared to the Survivor 2299, these fake development photos were nothing. The biggest giveaways were definitely the LCC typo, a rookie mistake, and the fact that the game was being developed in the C drive, which apparently never happens in a game development environment. Also, look at the images and video. Those are the kinds of angles and image quality you get when a leak is fake. And the images and footage don't even show in-game assets, only words in a familiar game engine that corresponds with information that we already knew at this point, along with stuff that could easily be made up. So once again, the hearts of Fallout fans were shattered, although at this point, we had sort of gotten used to it. But the good news was that we would only have to wait a little over a year before the game would finally be announced. We just didn't know it at the time. With that, I would like to end Day 10 of the Fallout 4 Countdown Retrospective. Thank you for tuning in. Let us know in the comments below what you thought about the alleged leaked development photos at the time. And to be further updated on Fallout 4, stay tuned right here on Yong Yeah. I'll see you guys next time. Yong out. <laughs>